I, I, I don't know what just happened. My game uh, just stopped working. So we're back. And uh, we are... We're going to probably go... We're, we're, we're going to probably take the big, big gun. We got three... Three in the chamber. Jonathan. It doesn't help that it's in such a secluded, like, small area, too, so. I don't know why I have to do this. I could just vampire my ass up there. Right, they, want me, they want me to do this. So much fucking damage, dude. I don't understand. Look, look at that. That's bullshit. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't, I can't fucking, I have to get past this. Fucking skulls are the worst. That's, oh my god. Fucking hell. I see. I see. So now we drain it. this end. Big splatter of blood on the wall. So fucking close! Oh, oh. Freedom!
locked, all right. Damn. Give me this rat. This is despicable. Oh, interesting. I have this thirst for blood. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just your name sounds familiar and your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Pericles? Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Mm hmm. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. Interesting. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Jonathan Reed. At last we meet. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. My name is Usher. Usher Talltree. You are the leader of the Brotherhood, are you not? Primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect. <laughs> yes, they tell me everything. He's a he's me a fucking medium. Hard not to take too many lives. Is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson. Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time, he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been quite the fashion several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn until 1900. Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts, readings which blackened his heart. Ah. Goodbye, sir. Until we meet again. I rarely wander, yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. Dark, the whispers of a sun. So many signs to keep that way. What's that sound? What the hell? Okay. God damn, where is this guy's entrance? Is this the entrance right here? It's locked. So am I looking for a vampire way in?
I've been around this mansion like three times. So, I'm so confused. Like, my map doesn't really help me. It just says... Marty, I... out of stamina. I hope God can protect you now. Fire! Ghost! Fire! If you're not strong enough, remember, the blood of the citizens is a fast way to evolve. Good, because it's not because I'm not trying to be a vampire. It's because I'm trying to be a good doctor, right? But I need their blood. I have to kill that fire guy first. He, he seems to be the biggest threat to my little... I can actually focus on this guy and his little god staff. with your flashlight. You're losing, pal. Oh! No, 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 no. Thank God. Yes, this is his mansion. I had to fight them to get to his mansion. Oh, my God, I have such a headache from just screaming. <laughs> the amount of XP you get from citizens you choose to embrace is directly linked to the blood quality. Ugh. Dawson's mansion. Here I am. Yeah. But the question remains, am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? No, I'm not. 
doesn't deserve the power of a vampire. I don't deserve the power of a vampire. Dr. Reed, what took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I'm not doing it. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight, I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. Don't, don't just but force it. I proceed. I have a few questions. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. I'm the only vampire here. I don't know what, trust me. We can take a few minutes. I'm the only vampire I'm here. I'm the only vampire in the room for now. So please indulge me. All right, all right. What is it you wish to ask? I will become your maker. Do you understand what- I don't want to do well, this though. I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hand. What do you know about the Guard of Prewin? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Mm. Let's move on, then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. Oh, dude. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. He's fucking Trump. <laughs> Who gives you the right Who to decide? Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, Doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. Create a giant trap. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated, as soon as they are spotted. Mm. Infected could. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. Oh. I've heard enough. I've heard enough. Kill him. It's time to proceed. No. At last. All right. Do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. 
turn him, you sacrifice 2,000 experience in the process of... Fucking kill him! You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Oh. Wait! <laughs> you can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please just ask him. Sleep now. Rest now. Oh. Forever. Oh! Oh! I'm not sacrificing my experience for this old fuck. I would have lived forever. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? Oh. Yes. 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 <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this commentary, lick that like button, subscribe for more of this lovely content. Till next time, guys. Vos Nadonia, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.